Good morning, everybody. It is another fantastic Monday. I feel horrible. <laughs> I, I am in, uh, I'm in a lot of pain and I'm having a tremendous amount of health issues. So uh, this week's challenge is actually twofold. Um, I'm having issues because I put off calling the doctor until it was an emergency. And so your first challenge is if you have been putting something off, Please, 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 for the love of all that's holy, make that doctor appointment. Please, make that checkup appointment. Make that um, blood draw appointment. Uh, remind yourself to go see your eye doctor. Go get an annual physical. Please, 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 just, just get it done. I promise you're gonna feel a million times better after you do it. Don't wait until you're in pain to get things done, all right? Whether it's the dentist, uh, the ophthalmologist, uh, your OBGYN, your regular provider, your specialist, maybe even putting off getting tests, just please do it, okay? So a lot of health upgrades from the universe uh, for the next month or so, they're saying, and uh, by upgrades, sometimes they're not in the most pleasant way humanly possible, so that sucks, but get her done, okay? Please, it, it's serious stuff, serious stuff, okay? Don't wait till you have to go to the ER to get things done to uh, manage your health, all right? Part two, part two. We are doing a give it away week. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I know, I'm a horrible singer, just go with it. Um, so this past weekend, I have been going through and I've been st uh, cleaning, spring cleaning, um, just kind of sorting through the kids' stuff with the seasonal changes. Um, and because they are almost, almost, uh, potty trained, I have kind of just found stashes of diaper from in my car, from in their closet, from like uh, emergency clothes bags. Uh, so I, I had diapers everywhere and I've compacted them now to two bags worth of diapers that don't fit. And I've been looking for a, a place locally to donate them. Um, so if you have stuff that you've been meaning to donate or clean or get rid of, this is the week to do that, okay? Um, for stuff like clothes, maybe you don't want to give it to a good bowl. Maybe you want your stuff, whatever it is, to be more meaningful. For us, um, I always look for women's shelters, uh, homeless shelters that uh, may be able to offer uh, clients new clothes, you know, newer clothes. Just make sure that they're not damaged or stained in any way, obviously. Those, those go to Goodwill. You can go to the trash. There are places that actually recycle fabric as well. It's kind of cool. Um, the other thing that my, my dad and my mom found a 12 volt, uh, drill. And I was like, Hey, you know, I actually saw this nonprofit on Facebook that was doing, um, a fundraiser. They build beds for, uh, children in need. And they, they literally build like these cute little bunk beds, very simple, but they look nice. They're sturdy, they work. And I was like, you know what? I bet they would love to have a drill. It's not fancy, it's not 18 volt like the new kinds, it's 12 volts, but it's a drill, an extra battery, and a charger. And my dad was like, yeah, I mean, I'd rather give it to someone that's gonna use it than throw it away because we already have, you know, extras, the newer ones are all at the barn. So it was just an older one from the house that, you know, they're not gonna use anymore. So, well, I have contacted them and I'm dropping that off Saturday when they're doing their big build day. So I'm hoping maybe to get in like a half an hour to an hour of helping sort wood or something before I have to get on the road for work. Um, so uh, clothes, stuff. We have uh, what they call the Aberdeen Restore. So it's kind of like a Goodwill, except the money goes directly back into community resources. Um, so they take your stuff, whether it's antiques, they don't do clothes, so they don't do clothes. They do like furniture, they do um, antiques, they do like art stuff, they do stuff that uh, Goodwill doesn't, doesn't. So like they have a lot more rooms, so they do a lot more furniture kind of stuff. So if you have that, you know, otherwise you can sell it, sell it online. Facebook has all the mom swap groups. I always tell people just be careful, uh, you know, swap in a public spot. I know our police stations allow you to swap. They actually have parking spots where you can swap with somebody. Um, we also meet in places like I've met at Kohl's, which is really close to the kids' daycare. Um, it's really brightly lit. There's always people there. Um, and you know, just make sure that you cover your booty, you know, don't do it at night. 
uh, bring somebody with you or you know have somebody on the phone I know it sounds stupid but you know protect yourself protect yourself um, so yes if you can give it away to a local charity that's awesome um, otherwise just you know clean and tidy your space it's spring and for us, our allergies are going absolutely crazy, so I'm I'm trying very hard to vacuum twice, two to three times a week because sometimes we keep the door open to the patio and our screen door is busted at the bottom because the dogs go in and out through, through the screen door. They made their own doggy door. Um, so cleaning up around that area because the pollen is just a mess um, and the pet hair and the dust and everything. So I, I am making an extra concerted effort to make sure that I vacuum and just keep things tidier for our our health you know um other than that just uh, what are you holding on to maybe it's emotional baggage uh that you can give away or let go of good stuff good stuff so give it give it away free yourself lighten your load that is your challenge for the week uh i love you guys uh the other like i know it sounds silly guys you know get your blood pressure checked get your everything checked get blood panels done you know get it done please we found out my sister has high blood pressure issues and that runs on my dad's side so um she's going to the doctor this week to get checked up on um, I have a 1030 doctor appointment they're probably gonna have to do the the scan for my uh, pain pain I gotta call the doctor for Audrey Audrey's having issues too so it is it is a doctor week so please don't put these things off your health you don't realize how awesome it is until something goes wrong and then you're like oh I wish I appreciated that more so Take advantage of your good health. Just get checked up. Get checked up, okay? It's painless. Like, maybe we'll draw some blood. Just, you know, if you have questions. If you have questions. If your doctor... The other thing is, if your doctor does not take you seriously, find another doctor. You know? Um, I hear about people with uh, cyst issues, ovarian cyst issues, that have to go through two and three doctors. Do it. Find somebody that listens to you if you're having an issue. Uh, especially when we talk about chronic pain, chronic fatigue, the invisible illnesses, mental health issues. All right, if you're having mental health issues, this is the week to call somebody, whether it's a therapist or a doctor or whatever. Get it done. All right, I trust you guys. If you have questions, if you have issues, um, I'd be happy to try and help you uh, look up nonprofits in your area. If you're local to Harford County, I know a ton. But I can at least help you Google, you know, and I'm an investigator, so I'm really good at that Google machine and um, see who can use what you have to give away. All right. I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.